Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bell rock. Da, na, na, na. You don't know what's next in the song. Me neither. Welcome to another <laughs> Tech Tuesday. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another Tech Tuesday. It's a party with the lights. It's a light party. What are we talking about today, Charles? Well, it's Christmas time, and so I thought it would be fun to talk about Christmas lights. Well, I think the biggest thing that comes to my mind when you say Christmas lights is bokeh, bokeh. out of focus, depth of field, and flickering. Yeah. So what's the biggest thing you look for when filming and shooting with? Christmas lights. lights. So we do a lot of camera tests with Christmas lights. And part of the reason why is because with these new LED lights, not these, but with LED lights, normal Christmas LED lights, they'll flicker because the way that an LED works is to control the brightness is it does what's called pulse width modulation or PWM. And what that means is that it pulses the lights to dim it. And this is like kind of a standard thing for all, all, all LED lights. Yep. Um, they pulse really fast and then as you dim it down or make it more bright, then they dim faster or dim slower. So if you've ever, if you're like, what the heck does that mean? If that doesn't grab, make if, any sense. If you ever they dim your slower or they dim faster. It makes sense to me, I don't know. They flicker sense, faster but. or they flicker slower. But if you're like, what does that mean? It's when you grab your camera, you're looking through the viewfinder and you're trying to film or take a photo and things are flickering and it doesn't look right. And you're like, what the heck is happening? Why are these lights doing that? That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, and that's just the science behind it. All it makes LEDs sense, do though, that. When you say the pulse of the electricity, it makes sense then if you're shooting at like a low shutter and you see the flickering, that's the pulse of the electricity going through the light. Right. And so a lot of you probably be like, well, if all the all LED lights, like this studio is lit with LED lights right now. If all LED lights, the way that you dim it is by pulsing the light, then how come you don't see it in film lights? Well, there's a range and a frequency. So anything above 10,000 Hertz, as far as the pulsing of the LED goes, then the cameras don't pick it up at any frame rate. And so a lot of the LED, unless you're doing like phantom stuff at like, you know, 10,000 frames per second or something like that. Then you'll But then up. you need HMIs anyways, because the amount of light you need is ridiculous and it doesn't matter. So, but normal film lights, you're above 10,000 Hertz and, uh, and you're good. So when we film like with Christmas movies, they're throwing these lights everywhere. And they're cheap, the cheap ones. Like we're talking, our department goes out to Home, to Home Depot, Home Depot, Walmart, you name and it. And they're just buying Christmas lights. Buying like the whole rack. But we're testing them because 50% of those cheap lights will flicker. Yeah. And is that because they're, is that just the quality and it's like a lower quality of light so the range isn't like the range isn't there, so they're not flickering. Why would some lights work and some lights not? Yeah, that's a, and that's a good question. So manufacturers of LED lights, what they're doing is to uh, lower the temperature because they give off heat, right? Anything that's generating light gives off heat. Even these get a little warm. Yeah, and, and so what manufacturers are doing is that they're putting a chip inside of each LED light that makes it pulse uh, um, and it dims it down so that way it doesn't generate a lot of heat. Okay. Therefore, extending the life of the LED light. And that's kind of like a manufacturer's way of getting around the fact that there's no heat sink on the back of that LED right there. So there's no magic trick to looking at a box at the store and saying this won't flicker? No, you just kind of, you have to buy the box. You got to plug it in, turn your camera on to the settings that you're going to film at and then and i kind of knew the works. answer to that question because on every christmas movie we do at prep we normally have art department come in they'll bring in each light we'll even just hold them in front of the camera like this and we'll see if they flicker and uh, we'll sometimes literally make a chart write each light down and which work and which don't and then art department will get rid of the other ones and go by and so maybe art department kind of has a little secret in their back pocket of like, these have worked over the years, these haven't. 100%. Like, they probably have a bucket of like working lights and non-working. Yeah, um, like I've been in warehouses before where they literally have like bins full of Christmas lights that they know that they've flicker. used before. Yeah, that makes in sense. In the past. Now, again, like with these lights here that we have at the table, 
These are not LED lights. These are just plain old regular incandescent Christmas lights. So if you pull this bulb out, the whole strand will go dead type of, type of deal. And you don't have any issues with these. And you can actually throw these on a dimmer and increase the intensity or decrease them. As opposed to an LED, they kind of are the brightness that they are. Which we did that on purpose, knowing we were shooting and using these for a commercial, we purchased some. And so take that into consideration. If you're lighting for something, know what you'll need. Yeah. Make sure you have the dimmers. Um, what's your biggest advantage? Why do they use these? So Christmas lights are fun. Um, they Because you can use them in so many different ways. Uh, and the biggest way that we use them is to create depth in the scene. Because oftentimes we get outside and you know, you're lighting and everything, but then the background just like falls off in nothing. Like let's say you don't have enough money to put up four condors and four 18Ks to light a city block. And so you kind of have to like use your imagination and try to figure out different ways that you can create depth. And instead of just having black nothingness, the abyss out there, what we do is we take Christmas lights and we'll put them on a tree, throw them over a bush, do whatever you can to like create some scent, you know, so you can see something deep into the background. And uh, if you're a photographer or something like that, you can use them with models and string some lights around your models. If you're doing product shots, they kind of create a atmosphere around whatever you're shooting your subject. Yeah, and there's also, there's like super cheap, and they're cheap too, that's the thing. And you can even go cheaper with like twinkle lights off of Amazon. These kind of type of things that are just battery powered. Yep. Um, so you don't have to have like a generator and stingers or house power to run like a huge long strand of Christmas lights. There's battery powered options out there that you can do as well. I've done a whole photo shoot downtown. We use these lights, found some LEDs behind the model, wrap these around her, and then you have light on your subject. So if you need light around her face, we kind of wrap them around her neck and it gave enough. Yeah, model me up, Charlie. Oh, and there you go. Sexy Christmas photo shoot. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Um, so the other thing that we do, or that's nice, is that you have these lights in the background and then they create some nice bokeh. Um, bokeh is the out of focus balls of the orbs that you get with lights in the background. And when you have the depth with the Christmas lights in the background and then you're focused close on your subject, you get the, those beautiful bokeh balls in the background. So it's kind of fun. It really adds a lot to the scene. It does. It's a cheap, easy way to add some more lights and some depth into your scene and get some cool bokeh balls yeah. and, uh, and have some fun playing. You know Charles like bokeh. Who doesn't like bokeh? It's even fun to say It's bokeh. my favorite thing. You can see Charles is skewed and I'm like, bokeh. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, guys. Thanks for your, uh, staying tuned. Hopefully uh, this video is informative and you guys can apply it to your next film shoot. Please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Woo. Peace.